Hey guys, I'm going to showcase some more texture packs in this video released over the past month. If you like the look of these, you can download them from the description below. I've also tested and recorded this video on the latest version of Minecraft. With this pack installed, skeletons will be improved on massively. From now on, skeletons can spawn as different variants, so that they can look like illagers, be mossy, or look like piglins instead. For even more variation, the skeletons have a chance of spawning wearing robes, which can vary depending on the type of skeleton. These aren't biome dependent either. The style a skeleton spawns as is completely random, and changes are also made to wither skeletons and strays. The doggos will allow you to change the breed of a wolf through renaming. There's over 30 options available, like pugs, sheepdogs, poodles, golden retrievers, dalmatians, corgis, and more. They're textured nicely, and some feature animations too. If you want to see all the available options, then make sure to check out the Planet Minecraft page as they're all listed there with images. You're able to rename a dog to look like other creatures too, like the Ender Dragon or even Chester from the Don't Starve games. Minia Turia adds a variety of custom item textures into Minecraft. Getting started with the pack is simple, as all you need to do is rename Sugar. Doing so will allow you to create lots of different foods, drinks, decorations, and furniture items. These can then be displayed inside an item frame and rotated easily. So it's also worth installing a texture pack that makes item frames invisible. A catalog is available on the Planet Minecraft page, so you can find out how to make different desks, lamps, and chairs. Another great pack to install is Better Illagers. Pillagers, Evokers, and Vindicators each have six random styles, with some extra variants made from the Iron Golem, Witch, and Ravager. Pillagers and Evokers mostly have different colored clothes equipped, with some hats, whereas the Vindicators have a Mohawk instead, which has come in a few different colors and can carry an animated cauldron on their back. Ravengers will look more worn, like they've seen lots of battles. Even the Wandering Trader has been changed, giving them a chance to spawn as a pillager instead. This next pack will allow you to rename Pufferfish, so they become Jellyfish instead. There are some different colors available, like purple, pink, blue, green, orange, red, and yellow. There's also some new textures for when you pick them up in a bucket, and these would go great in an aquarium-style build. Log bed simply replaces the textures of all Minecraft beds. Now they'll be wrapped inside logs, made up of different wood types, but the beds themselves are also changed too, making them look more 3D when it comes to the pillows. To change more creatures, try installing better silverfish and endermite. From now on, silverfish will have four different styles, and the endermite will have two. They look a lot like ants, and they might spawn with blocks underneath them, so it feels like they're taking them to build a colony. Another custom item texture pack is Kagu Craft. Included are items like sinks, drawers, beds, sofas, clothing racks, fairy lights, and swings, which you can obtain by renaming different items in an anvil and placing them in an item frame. Like other CIT packs, they're purely for decoration and have no interactions, but they'll go great for decorating your home. A blaze will change the textures of your swords if they have fire aspect applied to them, so that they look like they're on fire. If it's applied to a netherite sword, then it will be a soul fire instead. If you apply flame to a bow, then the arrows will look like they're on fire too when the bow is pulled back. With coven saplings, the textures of potted saplings will be changed. Planting a spruce sapling will turn it into a bonsai or a birch sapling will be turned into a Japanese maple. Changes are made to six saplings, as well as azalea and flowering azalea, and they look great. There's also Cubbins carpets. It changes the texture of most carpet blocks, giving them some patterns instead. A lot of them connect together nicely and have some extra details on the sides. In total, 12 carpet blocks are changed, and the pack doesn't rely on Optifine either. If you install Pigs Reimagined, then you'll find that Pigs have been updated with some new textures, models, and animations. The biggest changes come to their snout, tail, and ears. If you head to the Swamp Biome, you can find Muddy Pigs, which there are three different variants of, all with different amounts of mud on them. 
Using better spiders will allow spiders to spawn with up to 15 different styles. A lot of the changes will allow spiders to spawn with different colors, and some have patterns on their back. The models are changed too, which makes their fangs more prominent, as well as their bodies. It's also possible for a spider to spawn looking like a scorpion too. Cave spiders have also been changed, giving them six styles, some of which are emissive. You can try out better creepers too, which adds 15 different styles to the creeper. Once again, one of the biggest changes is that they can spawn with different colors and patterns. But creepers also have what looks like plants growing off their head, with some having crystals too. The ones with crystals have emissive textures, so they look great in the dark. Macchiato has a resolution of just 8x8, making it a minimalist styled pack. It's far from being complete with around a quarter of the blocks currently finished, as well as 15% of items. But you might still want to check it out and keep an eye out on the development if you like how it looks. Some changes have been made to the UI too, with some soft colors implemented. Even though this pack says it's for Minecraft 1.16.5, it still works with the latest version. It adds five hats into the game, which can be obtained by renaming a carved pumpkin and equipping them. It includes the bucket, strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, and bear hats. Tree shrooms make the world feel a bit more natural. Firstly, mushrooms can be found growing from birch trees. Emissive versions can be found growing from warped stems in the nether too. Some small changes are made to leaves, with them looking bushier. Sometimes you might find fireflies, too, for some added ambience. This texture pack will add over 30 new zombie variants. These are randomly assigned, but also influenced by the biomes they spawn in. Zombies in a jungle might be wearing animal hides, be covered in moss, or even wearing watermelons. In colder biomes, they can be frozen over or wearing some warmer outfits. And in swamps, they'll often look muddy and can have slimes on their head. Through renaming, you can obtain some items from the Assassin's Creed games. I haven't played them, so I don't know much about the items, but the pack description says you can obtain swords like the hidden blades or axes can be turned into tomahawks. Bows can be turned into the Assassin Bow or the Phantom Blade. Whereas there's also the Viking Shield, Assassin Token, and Apple of Eden. What I like the most about these items is that they're really high resolution, so look great when you're holding them, and they're also 3D. You can even just display them in item frames for decoration. Another pack to change beds is Beds to Camping Tent. Each bed color will now have a tent that it's inside of, and it looks really cool. This texture pack will go great for some realistic survival playthroughs, where you might spend most of the time camping outdoors. Dino changes the texture of dolphins, replacing them with the Onchopristus, a saw-nosed fish that once existed. They look awesome, and it fits into the game nicely. It also includes a prehistoric-looking sword, which can be obtained through renaming. This next one is a realism-themed pack, which is a heavy work in progress. It's available in multiple resolutions, up to 1,024 times but only the 128 times version is free to download, but it still looks cool, especially the foliage and leaves and grass. On Planet Minecraft, it's currently marked as being around 10% complete, so it has a long way to go. Cake Reimagined is a huge improvement on Minecraft's cakes. You can eat a cake up to six times before it disappears, and with this pack installed, it actually feels like you're cutting and taking slices away in a more realistic way. Pier Pack changes netherite equipment so that it isn't so dull and gray. Now you'll notice specks of gold embedded into the items, with a bit more detail overall. These changes are applied to armor, tools, weapons, and ingots. If you have an elytra equipped, you can also have a visible gold belt. This pack also changes cakes so that they look like different pastries. Unfortunately, there's no way to manually pick the type of cake displayed as it's randomly determined by the position in the game world. By adding candles to the cakes, you can place them into gift boxes with the color of the candle determining the ribbon color. That's the end of this video, and I hope you found some new texture packs to play with. If you want some more videos like this, 
then there's a playlist on the screen right now, which you can watch. I cover texture packs every month, so subscribe if you want to be notified for my next video.